Lewis, a uh, point here today against Colchester. How do you sum up our performance this evening? Yeah, it's a frustrating one. Um, I think they started the game really well. Um, and obviously went one nil up and it was sort of like the alimony for a little bit and we had to stand up to it and then we, we made a couple of little tactical changes and got back into the game and start, finished the second half really, uh, first half really, really well come out the blocks again on fire like we, you know, a few little things got said again at half time which I don't want to make a habit of um, but it wasn't just me, it was the players as well and, and I think that's where we're starting to change um, and then obviously... I think, yeah, I just just disappointed that we then, instead of taking the game and, and carrying on, it felt like we, we didn't. Um, but listen, fair, all credit to Colchester, they showed a massive fight and, and, and we knew it was going to be a really tough tough game today. But um, listen, we, 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 we're fortunate to come out with a point, but we've shown a different side to us today and we stood up and, uh, and battled. And, uh, and we, like I said on Saturday, a bit like today, we, we've gone away with some real... Bumps and bruises, um, so tomorrow's going to be uh, just checking the walking wounded and then get ready for the weekend. Before we speak on the goals conceded, we'll discuss the goals scored. How did you see them and what did you make of them? Um, who scored the first one? Uh, Nadas, great header. Nadas has been on fire at the minute, but as of as of uh, the other three strikers, um, and then obviously I think it was Tills scored again. He's, he's he's been on he's been on he's been on fire for me as well. But so have all the forward players. But like I say, I've been stressing about that clean sheet, and obviously we couldn't keep one today, um, which is disappointing for me. But on the flip side, like I say, there's there's definitely positives to take. I think the 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 manner of the the manliness of the performance at the back to stand up to someone listen as experienced as John Akindi, who, who by the way is a very very, very good striker um, and come away with um, you know a, a point we've definitely got to take the positives out of that pick it and then get ready to go for another big battle on, on Saturday What was your viewpoint on the goals we did concede today they look quite similar Disappointing uh, and I've just said that inside um, but like I say that's just sort of the demand that I put on the players and the players put on each other like I say, it's not just me in there that has to say things that, that some people don't like to. Um, but, you know, we'll chew the fat on the way back now and then again tomorrow. Um, and then, we've listen, we've just got to, we've got to keep on this roll because, listen, we're, what are we now, four unbeaten, I believe. Um, so, obviously, we've been on a really good run. But the bones of today's performance weren't, weren't the same as the, the last three have been. But on the flip side of it, we showed a different side of us. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely infused by that. And the fans will be concerned about Dion obviously going off early there. Have you received any update about him at all? Uh, no, not yet. Um, listen, it's really disappointing because he's been fantastic, not just now, but since he's come back from his injury. Um, he's been a brilliant brilliant leader in, in, in the group, um, just the way he carries himself and, and just the way he talks to people. So it's going to be disappointing. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a chance for someone else to step up. And um, yeah, so like I say, it's really disappointing. But once we once we find out the real truth, uh, listen, we'll be there to support him in any way we can. And obviously, the players have worked tirelessly over recent games. Do you think we can expect maybe a bit of rotation on Saturday with a few different faces? Listen, um, definitely. Like I think the boys who have come on have had really good impact in the games that we've had over the last couple of weeks, and and again today. Um, so you know, there's definitely going to be. There's more than just the 11 who is up for selection. Um, it was good to see George back starting, um, our captain. You know, he leads us, and that, and that was brilliant. So there's going to obviously be a few of the lads who are on the on the um, impact bench at the minute, looking to be trying to get a few minutes, uh, an extended start, uh, extended period. But you know, I have got to say, just at the end, I thought the fans were fantastic. They really welcomed us and got us over the line right at the end. Uh, but as they have been all season, but hopefully they go home impressed with us showing a different side to us. Lewis, thank you very much. Pauli, a point today in Colchester. How would you assess our performance? Um, I think we did okay in patches, um, but I think we're disappointed um, after going behind and then getting ourselves back in the game and going ahead ourselves. Um, we would have liked to have done a bit more at 2-1 to um, so maybe go 3-1 ahead and secure the three points, but you know, we dug in at the end. Uh, they made it difficult, obviously, coming away from home. Um, yeah, we got a point, but I think we are a little bit frustrated. I think you could tell Colchester were a side that needed the points too. They really gave us a tough game and worked us very hard, didn't they? Yeah, they got away with obviously doing things. They got some uh, some size up front and they put the ball forward quite early at times. Um, and it's difficult. Uh, probably not the biggest side ourselves, um, but I think we competed well tonight. Um, I think we conceded some, some sloppy goals that we could have ironed out. 
um, and done a bit better um, just as individuals and as a collective. Um, so yeah, obviously they're, they're fighting, fighting for their place in the table um, in a similar position to us at the moment. We come here with momentum, so we are a little bit frustrated. Obviously we did have, have that momentum, like you said, at 2-1 and we maybe could have pushed on to get another. What do you think sort of changed? Was it, was it maybe a bit of fatigue? Are we tired? We've worked very hard recently? Yeah, I think that like, you never really want to say that, but you know we have put a lot into kind of the last couple of games and put a lot into Saturday, uh, obviously against another really good side uh, that are doing well in the league. Um, and then you come here and, and you're ready to go again. Um, but yeah, it, it can be difficult Saturday, Tuesday sometimes, but it's just the way it is. You know, we, we expect to kind of come in and give a good showing. Like I said, we've, we've taken a point, but um, we are a bit disappointed. And that partnership between yourself and Hess and Tyler, it seems to be timeless and it's sort of returned again, hasn't it, this season? And effective as ever, it's been brilliant in the last four games. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things. Sometimes you play with someone and you just have an understanding straight away. That's something that happened with the two of us. Um, I think we give the team good balance. Um, there's things kind of that I do well um, that complement what he does well. Um, so, yeah, long may that continue. Obviously, I know we shifted formation a few times today, but we're predominantly now back to that 4-4-2. How's that, how's that working out for you? Yeah, obviously, as you would know, like we have played it in the past um, and we've been quite successful with it as well. So it's kind of going back to basics. Um, we had a few little tweaks and changes here and there today, um, and I think we did, we did that quite well. Um, so it's good to be able to kind of like move in and out of different shapes. Um, but yeah, in, in a 4-4-2 that we, that we started with today, um, there's no grey areas. Everyone knows their job. Um, we've got some good players, good individuals in forward areas um, and it's about getting the ball to them players and, and letting them do the business. And I'm beating them four now, an amazing fan turnout today. I mean, going into Bradford, it must be high spirits in the changing room. Yeah, like today, honestly, like there was a moment in the first half when like, you know, you just sort of turn and look and you kind of, you, you could really hear them today. Like it was unbelievable to support. Um, really loud, um, keeps us going like when we're under pressure there today. Um, we know kind of they're with us all the time, so hopefully they're proud of the last few few results and performances. Um, and hopefully they'll follow us to Bradford and uh, another tough one, obviously, but we'll give them something to shout about there last year and hopefully we can do it again. Pauli, thank you very much.